What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mom and Papa Joe. It's a chilly 45 degree day here in Texas, and what would go better on a cold day than some smothered chicken and mashed potatoes? Very simple recipe. Let's get right into it. Before we get to messing with this chicken, let's put this rub together. I'm creating my own uh, little bit of a rub. What I've got here is two teaspoons of coarse cracked pepper, two teaspoons of uh, onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of poultry season, and lastly, two teaspoons of some Kinder's buttery garlic salt. If you don't have this or something along these lines, man, you could use uh, maybe uh, a seasoning salt, Laurie's, uh, or uh, regular table salt or kosher salt, but I think this is really going to amp up the flavor. And again, it's just te two teaspoons, so we're not going very salt heavy. We're gonna put this all together without making a mess. We wanna give this a good stir, and then we're gonna come back with our chicken. I am a fan of uh, dark meat, so I'm going with legs and thighs. I've got five uh, chicken quarters that I've already washed, dried off, cleaned up, trimmed some of that excess fat from underneath. Uh, they are ready to go. So all I'm going to do is split these or separate these, and that's not very difficult. I like to leave a little bit of the backbone on the thigh side because I get a kick out of gnawing on those uh, after they're cooked. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna come back with that seasoning that we've made. Again, not a whole lot of salt in this, so I was very careful. So in this bag, I've got half a cup of uh, all-purpose flour. To this half a cup of all-purpose flour, I'm going to add roughly a tablespoon of this uh, seasoning that we created. And this is what we're just going to shake our chicken in uh, right before browning it. It's going to be the base for this gravy that we're going to create. All right, so. My stove is on medium high. I've got a little smoke coming from this pot. I have got two tablespoons of duck fat in there. That is what I'm frying in. I have battered, floured my chicken, and I'm going to do five pieces at a time. That way I'm not overcrowding the pot. And I want to get a good, dark, rich browning. I'm not looking for something quick, something that's going to fade once it hits liquid. And these may take me uh, five to seven minutes per side. All right, we've been right around five minutes. And man, that's a nice color. That's what I'm looking for. I think that's going to last. Oh, definitely. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna flip. And same thing on the opposite side. All right, here's our second bat coming off. Man, nicely colored. Now, I do not want too much oil in here as I add my veggies and begin to make my little bit of a roux. I'm turning down my stove just a little bit, and I think I've got plenty of oil, so I'm gonna remove a little bit. I like to use just some paper towel to soak some up. I think what I've got left in there might be a couple of, uh, maybe a tablespoon. I'm gonna come back with all that good stuff in there Onions, bell pepper, celery, the trinity. What I've got in there is half of a medium onion, one stalk of celery, and uh, maybe a third of a, a red bell pepper. We're gonna give this another three or four minutes just until we start seeing some color come into those onions. It's been about five minutes. I'm coming back now with two cloves of finely minced garlic. And we're gonna give these just another two minutes or so. The one thing you don't wanna do is burn garlic. So we've given that a couple of minutes. Now I'm just gonna come back with some of this flour mixture we used earlier that's left over. 
Right there, that's one tablespoon, give or take. And I'm going to add a second tablespoon. And we're gonna work that around to create a bit of a roux. We're gonna cook that for about another five minutes. Again, folks, I am not a fan of the oily gravy. If at this point you felt like you needed to add uh, a little more oil to your veggie mixture, you absolutely can. I am not going to. And now I'm gonna come back with some stock. A few weeks ago, I cooked a turkey and I saved the carcass and I made a turkey stock. So this is homemade. I just took the bones and everything else that was left over, added some aromatics and some veggies and uh, simmered it for uh, a couple of hours. I didn't add any additional salt. So there isn't a whole lot of salt uh, in this. This is two cups. I'm gonna start off with about one cup and we're just gonna work that loose now. Scraping up from the bottom. And I'm coming back now with the second cup. Your roux does not reach its full thickening power until you bring it to a boil. All right, so we are now at a boil. And man, we've got a nice consistency. Uh, we have to remember that this is gonna cook down soon. So uh, we're gonna stay set for right now. Now I'm gonna come back with half a cup of cream. Uh, you could use uh, skim milk or you could use additional stock. Toss in a couple of uh, teaspoons of chopped parsley. All right, we are back to a boil. Now we're gonna come back with our chicken. I'm going skin side up on the thighs. All right, so now I'm turning my stove down to a simmer. And we're going to give these about, uh, give or take, 45 minutes. So I've got two pounds of russet potato. I'm putting them in some salted water. My stove is uh, pretty high. I'm going to bring this to a boil, a rolling boil. And once it hits a rolling boil, I'll probably be cooking these potatoes for about 25 to 30 minutes. I want them fork tender. Well, it's taking these potatoes a little closer to 35 minutes, but I think they're done, man. This skewer goes through without much resistance. And I'm one of those, I like a little texture to my potatoes. I don't want them too smooth. I'm coming in here with about a quarter stick, some salted butter. In this pot, I've got just a half cup of some warm cream. I'm not adding all of it. White pepper or black pepper? I like to see the granules. I like to see the color, so I go with black. And we get a little taste, check that salt content. And yes, it can use a little salt. And guess what? I'm gonna go with my kinders. That butter, the garlic. So I've had this chicken simmering right at an hour. And uh, oh, it is fork tender. Just about fall off the bone. Perfect. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm talking about, about minimal oil. I don't have an oily gravy that these chicken pieces are smothered in. Finish this pot with a little bit of parsley and I will put a plate together. Let's see if I can halfway plate this. Man, oh man, I'm telling you. Mm. Potatoes are just perfectly creamy, man, nicely salted. And this chicken. Not even worried about a knife right now. Wow. Mm. So tender. The green and bean action. Mm -hmm. A very simple meal. But man, it eats so uh, gourmet, so elegant. I want to thank you guys and gals for hanging out with Mom and Papa Cho. It's the holidays. I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Be on the lookout for another video coming soon. In the meantime, I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Look out for each other, man. Love each other. And we will see you when we see you. Holler.